Hey guys, it's Cleo, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I achieve this makeup look. I like to look like I'm wearing some makeup but not a lot of makeup. So this is like my no foundation, natural, easy little makeup routine that I do whenever I put on makeup. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this look. Okay, so the first two things I do are prime my face. So I start with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I put that all over my face. And then I also go in with the Hydro Grip Eye Primer. You can use this as like a primer for your lids, but I just use it underneath my eyes. I did both of those steps before turning the camera on because I do like to let it sit for like at least three minutes because if you don't let it sit, it'll like pill and like come off your face. So usually while my primer is like setting, I'll just do my eyebrows a little bit. I used to use the Anastasia brow pencil, but they're so expensive. I found that the Maybelline one and the e.l.f. one are both really good dupes for less expensive. This one's the Maybelline one. This is in the color soft brown. I just have very light eyebrows, so I like to kind of give them a little bit of something something. And then I use the Anastasia brow gel. e.l.f. also has a really good brow gel that's much cheaper. Okay, now on to our actual face makeup. If it's like a daily, I'm just gonna use concealer. If I wanna look a little bit more done up, like I'm going out to dinner or something, I'll use the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops and then I'll also use the Fenty skin tint. I'll use these both right now just to kind of show you what it looks like. So I take the bronzing drops. This just kind of makes everything on my face look more cohesive. It looks fine when I just do concealer, but it does look a little bit more like blended and cohesive when I do this. Okay, so I mix the bronzing drops and the Fenty skin tint. I have the skin tint in shade five. I'm running out of that and I literally already bought a new one. So just to prove how much I love it. It's like the perfect amount of coverage without being cakey at all. Like it literally just feels like, not even if I was going to say moisturizer, but it's literally like lighter than that. It's, it just melts into your skin. The bronzing drops are great if you want a little extra color. And obviously I'm very pale, so it definitely helps me out. And then I have like pretty red cheeks right here. So I'll go in like directly on my cheeks with the skin tint and just blend that into this specific area. It just makes the redness go away without like caking up your face. Once that's all blended out, I go in with my contour next before concealer. I use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. It's my favorite. I love it so much. Bought this like so many times now. This is in the shade fair to medium. So I just go under like on my jaw right here, a little bit on my forehead. And then sometimes I'll do my nose. Sometimes I won't. If I am doing my nose, I just take a little brush. I think this is elf and I'll just take a little bit like right here. And then up the sides a tiny bit. And then I'll take that same brush. I know some people probably wouldn't use the same brush, but it's all like being blended together. So I feel like it, it doesn't really matter to me, but I'm not really makeup guru. So I'm probably wrong on that. Sometimes I'll take a little extra and just put it on the brush and go in and kind of like, if I need a little extra color, but I think we're good right now. So this might seem weird, but I do blush next before concealer only cause I use like a cream blush. So this is the Rode pocket blush in Toasted Teddy which I thought at first was going to be a great was going to be a super dark color for me but I love this color so much I don't know it's not anything I would have thought would work on my like light skin tone but I love it it's very like warm it's not too pinky I'm not a big fan of like a really pink blush so I love this shade so yeah I just take this brush the BK Beauty 109 brush and I just go in basically this entire area I'm not just doing the cheeks I'm doing my nose I'm doing everything just because I prefer like the actual like sun-kissed look rather than just like the swipe of blush here. Sometimes I'll take a little bit more on my finger and just put it on my nose. Okay, moving on to concealer, which I would say is the most like crucial step in my makeup. And it took me so long to find the perfect concealer and I have found it. It's the NARS Creamy Concealer. The formula is amazing. The coverage is great. I think the reason I love this so much is because it is my like actual skin match and it's taken me so long to get there. This is the shade light 2.5 creme brulee. I honestly just got lucky with this after a long time of like trying different concealers. I just finally found one that was my skin tone. With this, I just go in under my eyes and then anywhere that have blemishes and then any like darkness. I have darkness on this side of my mouth for whatever reason. And then depending on how much makeup I want to look like I have on, but like right now you can kind of like see my freckles 
ruffles and you can like see the blush which is cute so i'll kind of just leave that if i was wanting to wear more makeup i would just go up the sides of my nose and kind of like blend that out so that it looks a little more full coverage and then before i blend that out i will spray with the milk hydro grip set and refresh spray just to get a little moisture on my face for when i blend it out sometimes i will use a beauty blender or a sponge i feel like it takes off so much of the product so recently i've been using this bk beauty brush and i will go in and blend in the concealer like a little bit and then after i'm done blending this in a little bit with the brush i'll go over it again with my finger just to make sure it's completely blended in and that's kind of like more important for under my eyes because i like to make sure there's like no creasing at all also ignore this cut on my lip i don't know i think i bit the shit out of it in my sleep or something i can't figure out what happened Okay, so that's what it looks like with the concealer blended out sometimes i'll go in with the hourglass concealer just because i have it in kind of a lighter shade than my skin tone and i'll go in anywhere where i like have more like darkness that i need it like actually to brighten up so like this kind of dark spot by my mouth if my eye bags are really bad that day i'll go in a little extra i'll do a little extra on this side just because it looks a little intense and then i just do the same thing to blend it out Okay, so now we're good on that. Up next, powder. I go between these two, the translucent one size powder and then the translucent Laura Mercier powder. They're both really good. I honestly don't really think I have a favorite. We'll use the Laura Mercier one today. I just got half of it in my eye, so that's cool. I take this little powder puff thing from Amazon that's on its last leg, but we're not gonna talk about it. And I just go in under my eye, then I'll come down the side of my nose a little bit, and then I'll just kind of use this and go everywhere else on my face. I do like a bit of like shine and like glow, but I don't like it here. And it always kind of by the end of it will come back out. I think it's my favorite step of my makeup. It really looks like I have a freaking filter on my face when I put this powder on. Honestly, either of these powders, I think this one has more of like a blurring effect. I do love both of them though. I don't know if I could decide on one, but yeah, I just make sure everywhere is kind of patted down. I don't go in crazy and I don't really bake. I like to kind of blend it in right away. I just feel like it like kind of creates that more like like natural look moving on so this is the step in my makeup where i work on my lips randomly it needs a little second to like sit on my lips okay so first thing i'll do is because i have chapstick on i will take it off with a q-tip or whatever okay lip stain i have tried a lot of lip stains i hate having to reapply my lip stuff throughout the day like i i just like will not do it this is my favorite lip stain that i've tried and it is so random it's from amazon and it's like basically a marker i like that it has like a thin tip because i can like precisely line my lips it's gonna look dark when I put it on, but I'll show you how we work it out. But yeah, so I just line my lips with this and then I do one swipe across and then I rub them together. So it just gets an even coat. So this is definitely more of like a red color right now, but we are gonna take some of it off. We just let it sit for a bit because we want it to last a long time. Okay, so moving on to eyes, I do usually keep it pretty simple. I will show you guys a little technique that I do in order to kind of like make my eyes look a little bit more dramatic, but still natural. So we are gonna do a little like like a liner out of eyeshadow but first things first we're gonna curl them my most recent favorite mascara is the milk kush high roll mascara y'all it just like makes my lashes look so long and like so bold but like still natural if you want one that's even more natural the l'oreal telescopic mascara is great the one that i'll show you that i use on my bottom lashes is also great but this is the milk one and so i do this on my top lashes and the reason that i do my mascara before my eyeliner is because when i do my mascara i get it all over my eyelid because it's the only way for me to like actually coat all my lashes especially the outer ones because those are the most important ones because it just gives you that like elongated look so i just go in like i am not worried about getting it on my eyelids at all 
So like, look, I got it all over my eyelid, but it's fine. We're gonna deal with that after. Now we have the top mascara on. So then a more natural one that doesn't bulk them up too much is this Ilia one. It's the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. So I use this one for my bottom lashes just cause it's definitely more like natural and I don't like them to be too intense. I just like lightly touch them with it. Then to clean up our mess, I take a damp Q-tip and I just take any of the mascara off my lids. Okay, so most of the time that is kind of all I will do for my eyes. But if I am feeling like I want a little extra, this is how I do liner in like a more natural way rather than like a dark black eyeliner. So I take this Anastasia eyeshadow in Deep Plum. So it's like a really dark purpley brown. And I take the Sephora 22 like angled brush and I basically just use that to make my eyeliner. So I don't really do like a lot, but I do just take it and like come out a little bit just because I feel like it does like kind of elongate my eyes a lot. It is a little bit tricky to do it after mascara, but I do that because I know that if I do it first and I do my mascara, I'm gonna get mascara all over it and then I'm gonna have to wipe it off. So that's all I do for my eyes. Okay, next we can take off this lip stuff. So again, a damp Q-tip and I just go over it and take like a good amount of it off just because I don't like how dark it is, but I still want like that color and like shade. So you can actually see like my lips. And then I'll just take whatever to like lip balm or gloss and go over it. And then throughout the night or day, if I do want a little extra lip, I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. It's like a pretty similar shade to my lips, so I use that. Now what I'll do is take a fluffy brush and just go over all of this to kind of like make sure there's no like extra powder, make sure we're all good. And then I will take the Milk Setting Spray again give a good spritz of that. There's always some steps I can kind of add if I want a little something something, like sometimes I'll do highlight, but for the most part, this is like my makeup. For whenever I do my makeup, yeah, I just feel like it's the best like natural makeup that I've done. I will have all of the products like pop up on the screen, but if there's any that didn't, I will have them linked in the description box. Other than that, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you guys want me to do any other type of like makeup videos or maybe like skincare or something. Comment down below and let me know. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe. I would love to have you. Like the video if you liked it and I love you guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.